Everybody wants one, the internet makes you think you need one, social media people make it look easy, but is having a side hustle really worth it? I'm Tommy Tyndall. And I'm Elizabeth Ayola. And we've tried a couple side hustles, and we're gonna talk about our experiences with them and tell you what we learned and how it turned out. Now, how much do people actually make from side hustles? A Zipia stat says that the average monthly side hustle income is $483. And guess what? 45% of Americans have a side hustle in 2023 as well. So that may not seem like a ton of money, but to other people, it may seem like a lot. It just really depends on what you're trying to do with this extra income. And I think that brings me to a good point about there are some things you want to consider before you jump into a side hustle, especially if it's your first time. Like, is this a, a part-time job for you or are you looking to start a business? Do you need quick cash or are you really looking to build something of your own? And thanks to the internet, uh, I think some of the quicker cash uh, options are there, like ride sharing with Uber or Lyft or being a delivery driver, uh, delivering groceries with Instacart, something like that, selling items around the house through an online marketplace or like a part-time job, picking up extra shifts at a restaurant. You know, you could call that a side gig too. But if you're talking about starting a business, you know, that is really like building a brand, right? And side hustle or not, Ideally, you have a product or service that solves a problem. And another thing to look at too is, what are your interests? If you're gonna be spending all this extra time in addition to your day job or your primary responsibility on work, you know, it'd be nice if it was something that you're already good at or you like. Maybe you could teach music lessons or teach fitness lessons or walk dogs or something like that. So just some things to consider. Now, Elizabeth, uh, I've come to know you as the side hustle freelance queen. Uh, I know you're very ambitious and you've tried a lot of different things. And I'm sure that you considered some of what we just talked about uh, before jumping in. So if you wouldn't mind, would you share a little bit about your experience and what you learned? So my first side hustle was actually hairdressing and braiding hair. So I started braiding my hair and then I did my family's hair and then I started doing everyone at school's hair and the story goes on. Um, and I made quite a bit of money from that in my teenage years and into my early 20s. That is a skill that I had to learn, but skills that I didn't have to learn so much was writing. And most of my other side hustles that I did over the years were related to writing. So I've done app content, social media content. At one point I was even writing poems for ringtones. I know, pretty cool. Um, so I think it's just good to start with what you have and then work your way from that. Now, in terms of what I learned, I would say three key lessons, um, or there are three key lessons that I've learned from side hustles. And one is to have a goal for your side income. So know why you're doing this and why you're using your free time to work. You also want to make sure you're charging the right prices. Otherwise, you may find yourself working and working with pennies left over, a mistake I made very often. And then the third thing, please, please, please know that taxes, taxes and taxes are important. So whenever you're calculating how much you might potentially make, make sure you deduct those taxes. A lot of people fall into the trap of thinking they get to just pocket their side income, not realizing they have to pay taxes on that money, too. Well, enough about me. I've been talking about myself. Tommy, what side hustles have you tried? My story is going to be a little bit different. I think where your side hustle ambition came from just that ambition at a young age, uh, mine came from desperation. Uh, so a few years back, uh, I was, you know, had a, had a good nine to five job, you know, was, was doing well in my job, worked with good people, but was just kind of unfulfilled, wasn't really working on the things that I wanted to work on and just was searching for something more. Uh, and right about that time, I had been watching a lot of YouTube videos for my personal entertainment, like a lot of people do. Uh, and I was looking at the creators I admired and I was thinking, you know, I'm a writer, you know, I, I, I can talk to, to people, like maybe I can do this. And I'm like, I'm gonna make videos, that's gonna be my side hustle. I'm gonna make a lot of money doing this. No money there, so I was like, let me pivot. Let me try some affiliate marketing, making videos, reviewing products that I buy on Amazon. I joined the Amazon Associates program so I could stick links in the description below and hope people would click them. And after a year of reviewing stuff that I was interested in and getting better at making videos, uh, I think I made $7 on an Amazon gift card and Amazon kicked me out of the Amazon Associates program because apparently you need a wide audience uh, to stay, stay in that program. Um, so this sounds like a, a, a failed side hustle effort. And I think in terms of making money, it was. But let me tell you, I learned a lot in this process. And the main thing I learned was making videos about stuff that I enjoyed. It didn't feel like work at all. And it really became a cre out, creative outlet for me uh, that I really enjoyed doing. And I think most importantly, it gave me clarity 
for my next move, it showed me how important it was for me to work on the stuff I enjoy. Fast forward a couple years later, uh, I'm a writer and I write on, about the stuff uh, that I'm passionate about and I get to make videos on it. So I didn't earn, but I learned a lot along the way. And the truth is that you might actually start doing a side hustle and realize this is not for me. I personally have a friend who recently quit a side hustle because she just wanna to go to her nine to five and go home and sleep after. If this happens to be you, there are alternatives in terms of other things you can do to get extra money. And one is saving. I know we don't like to hear the S word, um, but it can for some people be a better fit than a side hustle. Two avenues where you can save your money is in a high yield savings account, which hint, hint, have relatively high interest rates right now, or in a certificate of deposit, also known as a CD. We have tons of articles that you can use to research more on those two vehicles. You can also look at investing for the long term in the stock market. This is ideal in terms of if you want to make, you know, consistent money, there are no guarantees. If you do it over the, you know, five to five years or longer. And the third tip I have for you guys is reducing your bills. So think about changing your cell phone plan, cutting down on subscriptions. I am a culprit of having one too many subscriptions. I had Netflix, Hulu, and tons of others at one point, and I decided to obviously just stick with one. Yeah, and I, and I, I like what your friend, your friend's sort of uh, idea about just focusing on that nine to five, because there is no shame in just focusing on your day job and using your free time to relax, you know? So that is another option, right? You can. You can work towards sort of progressing in your career, maybe asking more uh, for a raise based on merit, uh, working toward a promotion and really understanding what it takes, you know, focusing on that career or even changing companies. And maybe you do need to take some time on the side. Maybe it's something that can earn you money or maybe it's just learning where you really try to figure out what career you want to be in. So instead of spending all that extra time on another another job, you know, you're really just putting all your eggs in your nine to five basket. So that is an idea. But if a side hustle is right for you, know that the outcomes will vary uh, and the value may come from earning some money or learning some skills or both. If you need more side hustle ideas, check out our video on 12 ways to build wealth with side hustles. We're going to link it so click on over and go and watch and don't forget to share as well. If you wanna hear more from the nerds about side hustles in general, then let us know in the comments. We wanna hear from you.